my friends. It's Jennifer of Jens's Garden and I'm here to just give you a brief explanation of what my upcoming class of the Kitchen Witches Herbal Cupboard would be. I say upcoming, um, if you see that I recently, if you found this because it was a recent post, then yes, I am probably having this class somewhere nearby me, <laughs> which hopefully is nearby you, within a week or two. So check out the event page, see what the date is. Um, if this is something that's going to interest you, do show up and come because uh, I'm always excited to see you all. Um, if you're coming upon it randomly because I saw my YouTube channel or if you found it in an old post or video of mine, um, subscribe to the events over at my Jones's Garden um, page. Go subscribe to the events. You'll find out when I'm having it next. I will admit it's something that I usually only do in fall and winter. Maybe early, early spring. Because if you know me, if you've met me yet or follow me, I'm really about seasonal. So in the summertime, I'm in my garden. And then the fall and the winter is when I come out of the garden and we'll go into different locations and do more teaching outside. So the Herbal Cupboard series is one that I love to do in the winter. I've been doing it one, two, three, three or four years now. I think this might be my fourth year. So it's a great series. There is five classes in it. The first one is the Kitchen Witch Herbal. They all stand alone. So you do not have to like, oh no, I can't get to all five. Because look at, we all have busy lives. For example, right now, I had to cook dinner. As soon as I have to go get a kid soon, bring them to PT and yeah, if you hear that banging, it's because I'm putting an addition on right now and the dog's right there. So I like wanting a bone. <laughs> yeah, he heard that. He heard the B word. Oh no. So I get we're all busy. So if you can't make it to all five, make it to as many as you can. But the first one, um, I do twice. I do it just to trap her. Excuse me. I must yell at the dog. Down. Oh my God, he doesn't listen to me. I'm so, he knows. He knows. Give me a second. My mother put cat food on the counter. So my dog was getting it. <laughs> so we have busy lives. We're crazy. He's in a bag now. I'm so sorry for the extra noise there. Kitchen Witch Herbal. I think it's like the gateway class. It's how I started. Um, you know, with growing pots of things on my back deck of basil and sage and parsley. Um, so herbs I was familiar with. So I started growing them and like, well, what more can I do with them? What more can I do with herbs? Um, so this is what we're talking about in the Kitchen Witch Herbal. It is about using garlic as an antibiotic. Shh, don't tell the FDA that. Um, <laughs> or using it for like an expectorant. So what herbs do we have around our house? How can we cook with different things? So like cayenne, a stimulant. I'm not like get high stimulant. <laughs> we'll talk about that. <laughs> Rosemary, another stimulant, stimulant, but good for you know the respiratory system, good for your circulation system. So heart medicine, mind medicine. Um, that one shakes a bit. So <laughs> found the cat food again. <laughs> you know I'm silly. You're gonna have fun at my class, and you're also gonna learn, and you're gonna learn in a fun way about the herbs that you already are using and are comfortable with. So that's why I like to do it first. Um, we'll talk about teas and vinegars and oils um, with herbs that you're already comfortable with using just a you know, sprinkle here, or sprinkle there, um, that you might consider safe herbs because they're culinary herbs. So that's what the kitchen herbal is about. I hope you do come. We're not gonna be cooking, <laughs> but um, we're gonna be talking about recipes and different things. So again, if I've just posted this, it means I'm going to do the class within a week or two. If you're finding it in the archives or on the YouTube channel, subscribe to my events on the Jens's Garden page. That way you can find out when I'm doing it next. Um, I usually do it once in the fall and then again in the winter right as I'm starting the Herbal Cupboard series. So again, they all stand alone. Come check them out. And I can't wait to see you guys and we get to talk about herbs. That's one of my favorite things to do. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.